factoring a product of a quadratic trinomial and a monomial, we're asked to factor this trinomial. It has three terms, and the first thing we should notice is that there is a common factor for each one of those three terms, so we need to factor out that greatest common factor. So identifying it, the numbers all have a 4 as a common factor, and then the variables all have at least two u's, or u squared, so we should factor that out first and to find out what's left I'm going to divide each term by that 4u squared that we're factoring out and we will see what's left. In the first term the 4's cancel giving me just a 1 and the u squared cancels two of those u's in the top leaving me with just a 1u squared for the second term, the 4 goes into the 32 8 times. The two u's cancel two of those u's, leaving me with just one. So I have a plus 8u. And then in the third one, the u squareds cancel completely, and the 4 goes into the 64 16 times. So plus 16. Now at this point, we factored out the greatest common factor. However, we'll, we're left with a trinomial that still needs to be factored. So I'm going to bring down the 4u squared, and then we're going to factor that trinomial. Now, since the leading coefficient is u squared, I only have one choice. It has to be u and u. But for the last term, that's the 16. I do have some possibilities, either 1 and 16, 2 and 8, or 4 and 4, and since it's a positive 16, the signs have to be the same, and they have to add up to this middle term, which is a positive 8u. So since the signs are the same and they're adding up to a positive, I know that the signs have to be positive and the one that is going to add up to the 8 is going to be that bottom possibility which is a plus 4 and plus 4. So we can either put it in in this answer or you may notice that the last two binomials are the same so we could also write it as a 4u squared and then u plus 4 quantity squared to represent both of those u plus 4's. So either one of these is acceptable.